teaching the next generation is a key area. It is what many of us in the program are really excited about and, and what uh, actually uh, motivated us to join the program to begin with. The Xilinx University program, or XUP as we often call it, is how Xilinx interacts with universities all over the world. The flexibility of our technology uh, makes it very suitable for, for, uh, for it to be at the core of building blocks for teaching and for research. Almost from the start of the company, we set up a preferential subsidized program to give universities around the world access to our latest technologies. Using FPGAs or adaptive compute platforms allows students to design and build software, hardware and systems, giving them essential experience in, that they will need when they graduate and go into industry. What else can you ask as a student but for a platform that really allows your ideas to be implemented the way you want? At the same time, professors use Xilinx technologies to do highly innovative research, often leading to them starting their own companies. So overall, XUP is a program we're very proud of because it benefits Xilinx and the global academic community. My name is Naveen Purushottam and I work in the Xilinx University program um, as a staff applications engineer. Currently, there are two key initiatives that we are focusing on. One is the Adaptive Compute Acceleration Program. It is well documented that the CPU has run out of steam in the data center. However, the demand for compute resources is expanding exponentially across various applications. This is where Adaptive Compute Accelerators come in to meet the broad uh, compute demand. Uh, they can provide dramatic increase in compute capabilities at large scale and lower operating costs, and they do this at very low latencies. And XUP is enabling both academics and researchers to access this technology from both a logistical as well as a technical uh, standpoint. One of the projects I'm really excited to have been involved with is PINK. PINK is an open source project that provides a Python-based productivity framework that makes it easier to use Zinc and other Xilinx devices. PINK was originally conceived for Zinc and PINK itself is a play on words, Python and Zinc. The PINK productivity idea was taken further and extended to other non-Zinc Xilinx platforms, including Alveo, our range of adaptive compute platforms. Now the net result is that you get a platform that's much easier to get started on because it's familiar. It works very much as you would expect from having used the same tools on a laptop or a desktop or a server. It makes the process of development and deployment a lot simpler. And it's much, much more familiar to people who have a software background. And that was one of the key objectives in, in Pink. We also do tutorials and training. In the last year, we've moved a lot of our material to, um, to online training to make sure that we continue the education, even those that had to do it from home. We also did some special boards for those students that had to take the lab home, if you will. One of the key aspects of the program is, is our donation uh, program. And uh, that covers you know, software um, development tools, but also IP and hardware. So uh, faculty can uh, request donations in any of these areas. Um, we're, we're glad to work with them in, in, in the donation or, or subsidized purchasing from the boards. One of the programs I've been responsible for has been the Open Hardware Design Competition that's been held in Europe over the last few years and also in China. This is a great opportunity to see how people think and use Xilinx technology. It's a real learning experience for us and exciting to see the ideas that other people come up with for our technology. I find that students that have previous experience with our products, whether it's in their curriculum at school or participating in one of our hackathons, are more excited to join Xilinx for an intern or entry-level professional position. Once they see all the great technology we're working on, that really gets them excited to be a part of the company. And we provide different professional and personal growth opportunities for them while they rotate through these programs. Lunch and learns with senior leaders. We host workshops so they can learn about how to build a better resume or how to have conversations with their managers regarding promotions and compensation increases. We also try to have some fun. So we do social events like happy hour, trivia night, on uh, different ways to get people connected and involved at Xilinx. We put tremendous value in, in having a diverse workforce. We want the demographics of our workforce to reflect the demographics of broader society. 
Now we understand that not everybody wants to become a software or a semiconductor or electronics engineer, but we have to make sure that anyone, whatever their background, who wants to enter the high-tech industry is made to feel extremely welcome and that there are pathways and environments to support him or her in their career. We also have to work hard to ensure that diversity, equality and inclusiveness apply at all levels of our company. 